slap somebody else. They slap that white person. Like, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> See, more of that, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry, I don't promote violence. Yeah. Have you guys had any list. other good food in Lagos? I had really good lamb yesterday. Oh, from deck. where? Deck next to the library. Deck. Oh, deck oh, yeah, next to the library. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, really, really good. Okay, was it like lamb shank or lamb it's chops? Lamb chops. Oh, lamb oh chops. I love lamb. Oh, I never ordered that chops. when I go out. I love really, lamb chops. Really really is it when you just when you curve the side <laughs> and then you yeah, curve yeah, the other yeah, side and then and then you keep the and then you keep the boat when you get home? So I don't like anything with bone, so. <laughs> yeah. Lamb chops are the banging mm. ones, man. Where, where do you like? You told me about one good Thai. What's this Thai restaurant? I need to go and try oh, that as Orchid well. Orchid House. We're going to go there before yeah. you leave. Mm. We're going to go there. Orchid House mm. in GRE. I think they also have in BI and Apapa. What's sure it called? Orchid, Orchid House. House. Yeah. yeah, I need to write that one down. Shit's well, a nice what, Thai. What's good Thai food, right? Yeah, nice Thai restaurant. Mm. I've been missing some Thai because London is full of good Thai food, man. Yeah, yeah mm. I like the Thai thing. I like yeah. the, the, all the Thai food. Oriental food is nice. It's the Indian food I can't do. Smell. Smell. Food in a while, you, ne- you never tried Vindaloo? I'm good. <laughs> Even the sound of it. Like, Shari Nan is just where I'm at. <laughs> you never I'm tried good. no banging madras. I'm right. all right, I'm all right, G. Even the, I can smell it from him. <laughs> the only Indian food I like is naan bread. I keep yeah. it simple. Oh, it's the coconut one. Oh, Are you trying man. the coconut oh, one? Oh, Nan. The naan is banging, bro. like coconut. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, no, you, you, you might not even do too much. The, the, the butter one. Just the oh, no. roti. You roti, that's the one I like. Yeah. As well, well, coconut. Yeah, that's that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like so in America and I'm at Trader Joe's yeah. which is like actually one of the best supermarkets yeah. ever. Mm-hmm. Trader Joe's, they should be everywhere. Mm-hmm. But they do this like paratas, yeah, that are like frozen and you just do it yourself, and they are so good. really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. America has some really nice frozen food though. America yeah. has too much. That's why everybody's so beast. There's one pizza honestly. I tried too one time. I was like, food. I didn't even believe that pizza was frozen. How are you managing over there? <laughs> well, in LA, everybody likes to be skinny, so I guess it's a bit different. Or like, what is that like? Um, I mean, it's all right. I I just it's so I feel like I'm remo- a little bit removed from LA life because I don't know. I'm in school okay. and like school is intense. Okay, so it's school and back. Okay. And then I also don't have a car, so I've been oh, walking yeah. everywhere. And oh, LA yeah. public transport is terrible. Oh really? Like, Why? Oh okay. So I heard that. Like when they were bu- building their metro, a tire company bought it out to like prevent them from building more. Okay. Like all these uh, like nice neighborhoods don't want like mm-hmm. public transport near there, just keep it more exclusive and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> Lagos so... needs to move like that, boy. <laughs> hey, Koye, everybody in the ghetto together. Hey, <laughs> know, it's so bad with that. You don't even know like There's no like driving city. to that to the wedding yesterday, mm. like. By the beach, mm, yeah. not the beach, mm-hmm. by the waterfront. Yeah, like, why is it yeah. so filthy? They got to exactly. so fucking Yeah, it's, it's dirty. It's like, d- this place like, is disgusting. Yeah. Was this Vegas time, yeah, I was just driving. I was going through a new road. I went through that road where those, mm-hmm. all those people yeah, are. Yeah, then. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. So the person in the car told me, like, are you sure you know where you're going? Because <laughs> 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 exactly. That's happened to me before as well. <laughs> we went to the to yes. as well. Yeah, we, exactly. even me. Oh, on the journey, it's like, are we going to the right place? Because you've been going through some trenches. <laughs> I was going to say, yo. You have to go through the trenches to go to the main place. <laughs> fam, honestly, even me, yeah, I've never, there was one time I was doing some charity work in the Jagunle, mm. and it was my first time going there. I carried it. <laughs> you went to the Jagunle. <laughs> fam, <laughs> see, every time I tell people, they're like, what are you doing there? <laughs> On the way, on the way there, I saw what people were saying. I asked the driver lock the door. That's the first and only time in my life I said lock the door. Just even lock the door first. No, that's so crazy. yeah, it's a bit mad out here. I want to talk about LA quickly though. Yeah, like, have you have you been to Slauson? No, you haven't Slauson. I don't. I don't. I haven't gone out. Like, what? How long have you been there? How long have you been there now? Just like I was there for ten months. School, the school year yeah. and then came back mm. okay so what, what does LA come because obviously there's the huge homelessness epidemic oh, going on around terrible. that area right? mm. so how does that compare to like Nigeria right now what are you thinking I feel like LA and Lagos are like very similar places mm. okay it's only that it's like LA is in America because like first of all you need a car to get around yeah the houses are pretty even when Ada came to visit it's like she was like this is just 
it's spread out the same way Lagos is mm. by the okay. water, things like that. Like, mm-hmm. I guess the what we would call fake life in Nigeria, I feel like they have it to a certain extent because mm-hmm. it's such a wealthy city. Like yeah. everyone mm-hmm. is in their Teslas and their Mercedes. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. it's and like perfect. Like there's this whole thing of perfection. perfection. Yeah, mm-hmm. Hey, listen. When I went to LA, I was just walking down like Venice Beach area, and you'll see models. Mm. Yeah, Slim, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's, I'm like, <laughs> If you move my little pot belly, I'll see you now to get out of the sea, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but people so... in LA are like not normal. Yeah, they're, they're not they normal. They're psychopathic. Yeah. Yeah, mm. they, they, they actually look, look edited. You're walking, looking edited. Interesting. You're looking, walking, looking like tampered it's, with. It's a vibe though. LA is a vibe. It's a, I mean, I'm I, mean, it's like, I will go. ask you because you feel like you know more about it. Yeah. I do, so no, 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 it's a vibe. Though. So basically, I went, I spent five days in LA, but it felt like I spent two weeks there because yeah. I had a girlfriend in LA at the time and then literally we were like she was she's a blood right you know what bloods are like so like they were gang members okay no. anyways I thought, you, I thought you said blonde blood and yeah. uh, blood and Chris I'm sure yeah, you've yeah, heard yeah. of that before I've, yeah. I've heard of it I don't yeah. know yeah but like they, literally was like it's a, it's a cultural like thing like the way we were Yoruba <laughs> yeah. and it's, it's like it's like that it's not even like a gang thing it's like you're born into it it's all the mm. family like that mm-hmm. so we, we hanged around, went to, me and two of my boys from London came down. Yeah. So we stayed at Venice Beach area, but then again, she took us everywhere. So we were in like, um, we went to San Bernardino, we went to... Um, that's a wine country. Yeah, that's that's a different area, yeah. yeah. Uh, we went to Slauson Swap Me, which was sick. Slauson Swap Me is where like all the rappers talk about. It's like a, oh, okay. it's like a big market square okay. where you can get like jewelry, everything that you want. Oh, okay. It's sick. And I went to Nipsey's shop. Nipsey's oh, yeah, shop. Yeah. yeah. Crenshaw okay. District was in that area. And then um, went out to eat a couple of places. Then we went to downtown LA as well. Downtown LA is a vibe. It's where like, it's it's like city rough. area. It's very rough. rough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're like, they're the really nice places in downtown yeah, LA. Yeah. But it's, it's like... Area. No, I went to some rooftop a... bar. Like, we'll okay, sit, yeah. Like, yeah. There's, there's places, a couple of rooftop like... bars. <laughs> like, not, not, not <laughs> the hood, the hood. I went to the hood. It was a slow scene. That's it. Oh, really? But that's because it's, I wanted to see yeah, the whole Nipsey situation. It's very important yeah. to see everything. I live in downtown. It feels yeah. like London. It's the only place in okay. the city that feels like... Because it's like the, where the high rises are. Yeah. Okay. It's... But the only thing that I hated was like... The first night I spent there, I saw five people dead. What? Yeah, that's Where? Five people. I saw, I saw like, the. Oh. You know, you, you know, you can see the police. Um, oh, there are helicopters that oh. always circle around LA. Because <laughs> police line. Wow. Someone's on the floor. Someone's recording. Wow. We went to Boom Boom Room in Hollywood Square. That another. Another person, but that's I the was, truth though sometimes people say uh, Lagos is not safe when it comes to if you compare it London if you're if you're a certain demographic or certain gender yeah, it's peak for yeah. you it's same big. thing with America same with America so like you, when, you, when we're thinking about all these places and we think it's all glory there like there's still shit going down fam mm. I tell you yeah there's nothing abroad for people there's nothing fam. Fam. it's all the same I'm <laughs> you telling you just need to have money everywhere exactly yeah. that's the key I like that you just need to have money anywhere mm. Mm. but let's roll back a bit because mm-hmm. we have two beautiful guests here okay, right now let's so to know we who they are. intro we want to know who they okay. are because I'm using one of them looking like a <laughs> I sells a million dollar painting <laughs> the other one looks like rich daughters you know what I'm saying with the fresh skin the fresh skin <laughs> so who are we who yes. are we what's up <laughs> go ahead okay <laughs> hi I'm Uaku um, I am a filmmaker I'm a producer amazing. nice yeah, nice amazing so. I'm currently in school. I go to AFI. That's the American Film Institute in LA. Amazing. So, um, and yeah, I just... You really need to talk about that. She goes to school yeah. where Hollywood is. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> film. I'm yeah, we need that. to... Yeah. I, okay. And our, our million dollar painting uh, seller. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Oyinko, Oyinko Sola. And uh, yeah, I'm a PhD student in London. Come back for the week. Yes, <laughs> we've been enjoying. Exactly. Yeah. We've been having fun. Yeah, Lagos is treating me well. Nice, nice. Love nice. There's it. some smart people in the building, you know. Yeah, you know, only I mean, OQP. We can't deal with these... these uh... OQP, only quality. <laughs> <laughs> only OQP. I only, have, I only have intelligent friends. Only actually. quality people, only right? Only quality people, <laughs> I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> yeah, so how's Lagos been, you know? What's been going on? Lagos has been fun. Lagos <laughs> has been fun, fun, fun. Like, from the moment I I love landed, that. I love been, that. Yeah, I had that mindset. I feel like London was just getting me so down. 
so dry, so <laughs> bog standard, <laughs> so routine. I think anywhere in the world has been in London. I'm telling you. <laughs> 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 when it comes to vibes. No, seriously. Anything else, yeah, London might get it right. When it comes to vibes, what, everywhere in London. When it comes to everything yeah. else, it's, it's crashing true. everywhere else now as well. Yeah. So, mm. yeah. No, no, no. So I had that, that mindset of, yeah, Lagos is going to be good. And yeah, all good things. Yeah. I've just been, yeah, seeing people, eating, drinking. No, you need to. Chatting, you know, yeah. meeting people. It's been cool. Traffic has only got me once so far. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I'm trying to avoid it. How long How long have you spent in traffic? Two hours. Damn. Oh. Yeah. So I know that's even like, that's, that's like baby girl. Yeah. Like that's, I know that's like level one. Don't I let them tell you that because I, me, I, I don't engage in two hours. If I'm... In, <laughs> no, you, you plan your life around traffic. Yeah, I'm, t- I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, I don't see it. In, traffic know. makes me feel like I'm exploding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, as in, I don't have the spirit for yeah. it. Like I'm so yeah. on edge in traffic. I was thinking, what is actually the like health impact of traffic? On the passenger and the driver, True. because like Cortisol psychologically, yeah. it's uh, it's like it's it's a, it's. It's, I don't even know what it is, but it's like... No, it increases even, your like, cortisol levels. Yeah, yeah. That's actually a Honestly, good point. Yeah. It does, it's it actually true. does. Because yeah. for the driver, you're just like, you know, like accelerating pause, like breaking Brain, yeah, you're breaking, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. That's going to have a toll on your body. But like psychologically, you are stationary in an area of movement. Space. Like what Facts. does that do to your Facts. like psyche? How many, how many years in their life would they lose just in... Just oh, there's, the study, there's studies on this. I've read the numbers and mm-hmm. I, I don't even remember carry them in my head because me and traffic don't get along. But yeah. well, just like every metro city in the world, LA is the same thing. London has traffic. Yeah, but like, yeah. But we have back roads. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We have back roads. Me and the thing. back roads, don't play. <laughs> <That, that's laughs> road I'm there. telling you, I know what I'm doing. I cut this, cut this, <laughs> cut traffic. You can London, yeah. You can if, traffic, you, if you yeah. have the energy to, you it's can true. you can cut it down. I became yeah, an expert yeah. at that, yeah. Mm. But here we yeah. only have only one, one main road, exactly, road exactly. with potholes here and there. Yeah, yeah, Ain't no yeah. back roads. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Those potholes, like, it's a game, you know. Yeah. yeah. No, just imagine, like, being caught in traffic in the rain and you don't have AC. Like, that's what people. Yeah. What about yeah. if you're pregnant and about to give birth? <laughs> you're stuck. What about if you need to use the restroom? <laughs> you're stuck. What about there's so many circumstances where traffic right. is is literally yeah. like a health risk you, as well. You need to start traveling tour buses, man. With all the amenities in there. So if you're in traffic, <laughs> yes, you just say, you know what? Exactly. I'll yeah, just continue yeah, my day to day life. Yes, that's true. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Fair enough. Yeah. Cool. Mm. So tell me about film school because film school in where Hollywood is. Do you guys get to meet all the stars, like all the celebrities and stuff? Um, not really, but yeah, like <laughs> LA though, like that's the yeah, way they I mean, all you, chill. you cite them, I guess. I mean, them. you could, you could, they could be walking down the street, oh, they could wow. live in your area. They don't live in my area, but <laughs> um, they like if you want to, fi- if you want to find them, you will find them, I guess. Okay, and yeah. They, they have these tour buses, obviously, that go around, like the TMZ ones that go around their houses. Oh, and, like, really? You have to see paparazzi up and down. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> or if you go to like the hot spots, like if you go to the hot restaurants or mm. thing, you'd like you'd find see them. them. Is it expensive? Can I imagine? Oh, I know, it's when I look at the expensive. square mile, when I look at America, the the yeah. high, most expensive states for square mile. It's like LA, New York, and yeah, and San Francisco. Go, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like really expensive. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Compared yeah. to Lagos? Like, relatively on par, like, if you want to live That's a good life. That's the thing. Life I'm in... telling you, Lagos is Lagos actually is up there. Mm. Lagos is expensive. Lagos is London. I'm telling you, to live You know why we don't here. know it's expensive, yeah? I mean, sorry, I should not say that. But... <laughs> Free <laughs> the realness. <laughs> no, no, no. Because, like, you're just living day to day. You're not thinking about it. But when you actually convert the money... Because mm. no amount of naira you put in front of me would I think is money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I get what you're saying. I can't yeah. understand yeah. how much yeah, yeah, you're yeah, spending. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this week I've been here, the naira is like monopoly money to me. It's not, it's not real. It's not real. Let me tell you something. You don't move here with that mentality because I did. I thought I was Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> I was balling, and because the exchange rate moves in your favour when you're converting, yeah. yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you think you're balling. You're balling yeah. <laughs> Only until recently I started converting back. Like, yo, wait, hold on, this is London prices. Exactly. No, I'm telling you. So yeah, it takes a long time for your brain yeah. to start converting. I need to really, I need yeah. to really sit down and be like, bro, this is money you're spending. It's not mm. monopoly. It's like, like to even careful. to get a house, I was thinking about the money. My friend said to me when I told the money for the place, he was like. Fam, this is a deposit for a house in London. Oh, yeah. And that's rent yeah. here. Yeah. I was like, oh, when you put it like that? I was like, oh, damn. It's, deep. it's deep. I'm telling you, it's serious. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it, it's, I can imagine it's like that. What's the food like? Is it oh, good? Oh, it food? has great food. That's okay. one thing. Like, what, what has, has great, great food? Nigeria. LA. Oh, LA. Yeah. And Nigeria. Ooh, LA, LA has yeah. great food. Has it good food, yeah? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, the like the food culture is great. They yeah, have great good. chefs. 
great okay. places. Even mm-hmm. the supermarkets have great food. Yeah, right? the average yeah. places have great food. I wait yeah, even... and they have a lot of options. I feel like that's the thing. Like, because of, like, everyone's so healthy, vegan, exactly. Pesterian, like, yeah. they have so many options. So many nah, people but there's like, one creative. place I went to that really, actually, it's, it's a good place. It's in Inglewood. Yeah, it's right. um, Roscoe's Waffles House. Chicken and Waffles. I yeah. went there, right? And this Americans the, eat that the, chicken and waffles. I love chicken so, and waffles. It's nice. It's dry oh my god! Thank you. No, it's like my friend. I'm putting it on there. I feel like it's my friend will be cut up. No, no, no. You should so wash that down. <laughs> Hey, and the, the, the drink to wash it down is just literally sugar. It's like, it's oh like no, that's sugar. one thing that's about America. America. Like, everything is telling you, fucking it's sweet. So sweet. Their bread is sweet. I'm telling yeah, you, yeah, yeah. it's Nigerian it's portions as well, but with mm. extra loaded carbs, sugar, everything. When I yeah, saw the chicken terrible. come out on the plate, I thought, how does the chicken get this big? This big. <laughs> <laughs> Unnatural. They <laughs> pump it with um, antibiotics yeah. and hormones. And I was stuff. like, nah, this chicken was. Did huge. you ever see the video of that? They, do you see the video? Of I haven't seen it. Because okay. it, was, yeah, yeah, it was it was supermarket chicken. That's why when you put it in the oven, the chicken mm. shrinks because it's been pumped with uh, steroids, antibiotics, and mm. stuff. That's why organic chicken is so small. But like, yeah. we should get used to that size because that's, that's the real size yeah. of chicken. Yeah. Then um, okay. Mm. And what about you, Miss PhD? Yeah. What's life been saying? Life has been saying. <laughs> For course yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so we were having a little catch up earlier on and she mm. was thinking about writing a thesis in Nigeria. Mm. And I was like, you know, that actually makes a good point. Because mm. it's very stressful to write a thesis. So it if you is. did in Nigeria, where I would love that. Maybe yeah. just get well, a quiet just, Well, I've got you. That's yeah, the, that's what we're saying. Uh, that, yeah. 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 I had to like block everybody out for like a period of time and just like write. Which is hard. I'm not going to lie. When I first came to Lagos, I was out seven days a week. <laughs> For about nine, eight months on end. Busybody. All you'll see me is come back, refresh and change, go back out again, come back and change. It used to be the running joke that I just come back to change and keep going. Like yeah. Lagos, yeah, there's always... And when when you're like personable, your phone, in a night, mm. do you know when I changed on one night about four different men and said, come Zoya, come this. <laughs> I said, why am I on the mind of so many people when I'm even trying to choose the best one? Since that day, I said, I need to Why's come trying to choose? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Who are my friends? Uh, I'm literally... Oh, let's never got started on you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind, doctor. Anyways, yeah. I was like, wait, hold on. Why am I in everybody's mind to invite to the club? That's when I rechecked myself and said, no, <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah. you. Okay, go back to your computer and your laptop. And okay? some work, bro. So, yeah, when you get to Lagos, like, the Jaya, the lifestyle will definitely, yeah. like, you know, gas someone. Yeah, exactly. But that would be amazing. Yeah, because like, I don't have to, like, to be in London mm-hmm. for, to actually write it up. I don't oh, have to be I anywhere particular. That. Yeah, you should come. So I'm thinking, like, even just, like, for some months at mm. least, because mm-hmm. just take time with the fact that, take advantage of the time, the fact that I don't have to be like somewhere you should yeah, yeah. You should. yeah. So, so I want to I want to dive a little bit deeper into your stuff there's some stats yeah. that I want to really draw up because I'm trying to always learn stuff I don't Love know it. shit yeah. I'm, I'm learning all the time right mm-hmm. so you're you're writing about children and Nigeria so I'm writing about so my project is looking at Nigerian children's uptake of childhood immunizations in South London okay what's some stats that you can just blow my mind with right now because I'm, I'm trying to know what's going on in that area okay so I'm a qualitative researcher so the stats stuff is actually something I'm still trying to grapple with to get like some like contextual background to it yeah. but of all unvaccinated children in london as like the latest study 13 percent are nigerian um, yeah, she's, yeah, she's, of all, she's which is like an yeah. overrepresentation of like the nigerian population yeah. Yeah. Said, yeah so yeah the question is like why are nigerian children not getting immunized what um and then the angle that i'm taking is kind of what are nigerian parent attitudes and opinions to vaccination? i was gonna say is it a cultural yeah. thing yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. and i wouldn't and think so because everyone is vaccinated. i'm not gonna lie nigerians don't are not or when it comes to people Pro we're medicine. not the most no but no we're not anti-vax yeah we're not mm-hmm. anti-vax mm-hmm. i'm not gonna lie like, nigerians exactly, in general exactly, they're, they're, exactly they're, yeah they're, we're not yeah, as, yeah, a, as yeah. a group of people we're actually not anti-vax so this is actually yeah. something that i've been seeing so i've been trying to find like the parents and the children that are not vaccinated and the people I've been speaking with and it's been really difficult to find that group of people mm. and I thought I would find that with people who didn't have documents to be in the UK mm. so speaking with people who oh, yeah, came the illegally illegals, exactly, yeah. overstayed their visas and stuff and I've spoken to many parents like that and all of those children are immunised actually and it's making me think now Ooh, like the, the source of the data that's yeah, what, that's yeah. What, because that's that's that one in nine okay, so if, if if you, because it's one in nine right so is that part I'll yeah. come back to the source of the data yeah part, because me I want to exactly. address that but what I've been thinking about now is this concept of like anchor babies and okay. the fact that um. these parents are seeing their children as vessels through which they're going to get citizenship 
to in the UK. And so they're trying to kind of make the children as British as possible and like as blemish free as possible and do everything by the book such that when the time comes to file your papers and everything. It'll be okay. easier. It was easier. And you can see, you know, this child has done everything by the book and everything like that. Mm. So, but then the source of the data issue, I'm increasingly trying, like understanding that is an issue of like ethnicity tagging at the level of the GP mm. because mm. it's not very like accurately done yes. in the mm. GP. Yeah. Um, and then a lot of it is missing. And then also sometimes, like I'm still trying to problematize this Nigerian category as opposed to Black African. I was about to say, mm. yeah. you still have like Black African and Nigerian in the same like in the same oh, okay, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so it's not necessarily mixed, very clear yeah. why yeah. that Nigerian has been like brought out. Who did mm. that? When do we start collecting data about Nigerian yeah. specifically? Is it political? Uh, like, uh, I'm gonna. This questions. might be a messy episode, yeah. Mm, messy, but I, yeah. I, I believe in not filtering myself, and mm. I'm I'm also willing to learn at the same time. Mm. I do tend to have some controversial views, mm. so. First of all, why is it that people that are not open to vac certain vaccinations are so demonized? You know, mm. like mm. Let, let's, mm -hmm. I think every vaccination is different mm -hmm. and each serves its purpose. Mm -hmm. So with the vaccinations that you're researching, mm -hmm. are these the typical things that you get when you're born, like chicken yeah, pox? Yeah, so like I'm looking at like routine standard mm. immunizations. Okay. So um, yeah, MMR, um, hep B, meningitis, mm -hmm. polio, all those kinds and of And what's the ramifications of a child not taking any of those? Um, like potentially getting those diseases. Being at risk of getting exactly. those diseases. Exactly, and then carrying, carry, like being a carrier. And spreading, and spreading it to other it, people. Depleting herd immunity and just general. And um, how common is that, like in general? Like for people that, in in this day and age, yeah. it, mm -hmm. when we're finding people, adults with these illnesses, mm -hmm. Can it always be linked back to not having the vaccination? Oftentimes, or? yeah. Like yeah. there are increasingly more outbreaks in the UK that Public Health England, um, or not, they're now called UK HSA, yeah. deal with, and they are there are literal like hotspots where there's there have been hotspots of like Somali community who have a particular skepticism to the MMR vaccination because of autism, and you see like mumps, measles, mumps, rubella kind of circulating mm -hmm. in that community. So they sorry, yeah. sorry, they have skepticism because they think the vaccine causes autism. Mm -hmm. Where do they get that from? It's happened. I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, you know where they get that from. It's, it's um, Kunle's sister down the road. Say, ah, these people, if you give the vaccine, now, they shall be doing this. <laughs> you think mm. that, but honestly, I'm not going to lie because I also have met people on the other side of things and there's a lot of research online. And that's why I say mm -hmm. every vaccine is different. Mm. A lot of these vaccines get tested in Africa. There's communities yeah. of women in Kenya yeah. and many countries that are infertile because we need to really vaccines. bring that up. That's no, no, no. Huge. So that's, that's why huge. I said that yeah. I'm going to, this topic, that's I want to take it to the, see both sides of the, of the, yeah. of the equation. Like you have to just step back and understand that like people believe what they believe for a reason. Exactly. And yeah. not like immediately demonize exactly. and try and exactly like so there's been like participants I've, been, I've spoken with and there's one particular woman who at the end of the interview she's like do you know what I didn't know whose side you'd be on but she was referring to me like mm -hmm. was I like because I also had to reckon with my proximity to whiteness I guess in yeah. my research and what do I represent to the people I'm speaking with mm -hmm. so like she was thinking like Am I like an agent of the state that wanted to tell her, you must vaccinate, this is important, mm. blah, blah, blah. And when she said that, I was like, oh, wow. Like, you know, I'm just here. I just want to know what you think. Yeah, it's a research mm. I just want to yeah. exactly, you know, accurately document as, as accurately as possible what people think mm -hmm. and just like record that. Yeah. I don't want to change your mind. I just want to be as, object of a, as objective as possible. I love that. And Because when like, you first told me about it, because I'm very kind of, you know, I've seen both sides of vaccination mm. and I know real life people, for example, I know someone, you know, who was injected with the polio vaccine mm. and they're immobile today wow. because they collect, contracted mm. polio. Wow. So like, again, again, there's- And then it, there's COVID as well. As the COVID well. one we'll yeah. touch, we'll definitely have to touch on that one at mm. some point too. But it's, so I'm very kind of um, skeptical. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I, I want to just bring that COVID stuff about. So, so what's your thoughts on like mass vaccination of COVID or the mandatory vaccination for COVID-19? Mandatory vaccinations I yeah. think are, are tricky. Like I think in terms of like people's rights and autonomy, it can be, it's, it's I don't know. It, it reads like, I don't know, infringement on to me. Um, but I, I get why governments would want to mandate that kind of mm -hmm. thing just because of kind of the safety that it provides. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a tricky one for, for everyone. Mm. Like everyone has to make their own individual decision. No, I've, I've always thought this, this, um, it's kind of a two-way to the coin. It depends on what you're looking at. So, yeah. in some ways, if if and if the vaccine does work, and it, and because the people that gained eight or nine boosters so far, mm. it's like we never know which <laughs> one worked exactly. or which one didn't work. Yeah. So you're just shooting stuff into people's hands, and they don't really know what's going on, right? So there needs to be a more 
a bit more confidence in the in the system. Mm. And I think that that's what's lacking for me. That's why like right now, every time when it comes to COVID vaccine, it's just like, okay, great, but you need to ensure that you're confident about this before you issue other people and say I'm, they mm. must take and it. Everybody said some of us, some of us, I'm be honest with you, I'm, I won't say too much, some of us, yeah, had bad reactions to vaccines. Yeah. yeah. So My you know, some of some of the root of our ex, some of our conditions, some of us have chronic sleeping. conditions because of also the vaccine. So no. like nothing is ever one in life, nothing's ever one size one fits size. all. Yeah. And I preach exactly. this in so many exactly. things. So yeah, that that whole and I also think sometimes the world is a bit ironic because at the end of the day, you're claiming our body, our choice, you know, you hmm. claim it in one mm. area. They claim yeah. it for abortion. Well, how come it's not the same for the yeah, yeah. for other things? So yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's a bit of a, a funny one, you know. It, I mean, the COVID vaccination is not mandatory, and even childhood immunizations in the UK are not mandatory. Okay, so I didn't know it's, that. It's up to you. It's just that it's it, life can be a little bit more difficult if you don't have those vaccinations. Oh, I guess. how in terms of risk or in terms of no, other just like factors? in terms of like social, like social, like socially. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, traveling, traveling, exactly. So, yeah, I got back, so I got injected in school when I was like twelve. Thirteen. They used to come yeah. to school to inject us. Mm. Yeah. Like, UK is mad, you know. There's mad people there. Don't know that. It's, <laughs> it's a state-owned place. Your no children. right. <laughs> I'm saying they, they, even this COVID vaccine, there's some discrimination to certain vaccines. You know. How do you mean? I, okay, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you an example. So I, I took one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know which one again anymore. But mm-hmm. anyways, I was I went to France, right, Paris, and then I think the Johnson Johnson apparently is the one that is very good of Johnson and Pfizer yeah. anyways yeah. right so I took the other ones that was the not one of those two right? yeah. yeah some places in Asep and then okay. this, this thing was looking like why did you take that one <laughs> wow and I'm like I didn't know I just wanted to do it somewhere they mm. gave you a vaccine and yeah so it's like you really have to do your, do your own, own research and be yeah, like, listen, yeah. know what you're taking because I'm very careful. Well, yeah. well, imagine, well, imagine going to another country and say you can't get it because you took this vaccine. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And yeah. there's another one that they were giving people in Morocco. I don't know, it's a different one as well, like mm-hmm. that. And it's like they were also discriminated against that vaccine. So yeah. it's like, imagine the people that are not vaccinated and then the people that are taking the same vaccine mm-hmm. that's not yeah. needed. Yeah. So, anyways, it's, it's a it's a crazy yeah. situation. Mm-hmm. But yeah. You guys live in Lake. What made you move back? That's that's the one. They moved back. Track. They're leaving us. No, no, no. But, <laughs> but you're here. So you moved back in certain ways. So what, so, yeah. <laughs> He's so, claiming you back in Lagos no, now. No, no, we actually what, need, yeah. we need I was, more. I know there's wedding situations. That, what what mm. made you move to Nigeria right now? <laughs> I, I love Nigeria like I love Lagos anytime I'm here I just I feel good I feel like I get a dose of like who I actually am oh, like, dose of menelin that's yeah. what I call that dose of menelin oh, oh I love yeah. it that that. Is, you feel like your soul things are aligning yes, for you yes, when you yes, come yes, back yes, 100% exactly. yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah so yeah so accurate to come back um, yeah. yeah I was like, here last year October hmm. um and yeah, I've just been itching to come back. Nice, I was, nice. Look, I was looking for a reason. Nice. <laughs> what, what made you? What made you come back? Um, I say I live in Nigeria, and I like. I, I'm in school in LA even when I was in uni I would say I live in Nigeria I'm in From school, school. In okay, cool. this cause like where did you go to uni? St. Andrews in Scotland oh Scotland. no way that's, where, yeah. that's, that's a good uni yeah, yeah, you did. went to uni together yeah. that's oh, where the princes went yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good yeah. uni and but oil and gas billionaires mm. that's a good uni yeah. but like yeah. Princes. Mm. yeah but I'm sure it's so oyimbo oh, like yeah. Yeah. St. Andrews is quite yeah. but I really got more of like it's an international place as okay perfect very international Perfect. Like, oh my gosh. Well, yeah, I just, I love home. I want <laughs> to be in Nigeria. I feel like, I don't, I don't believe that we should run away from this country. Like, why no. are you going to run? If 10 million people want to do that, this country like, is better than a lot of places. Fix it. Aside from a few things, it's better here than it's a lot of places. Really point of view, yeah, we, no, and ex- that's the point. She said you need to have money to live anywhere. Yeah. And it's true. Because London is a horrible place it's to be going on. It's even worse. <laughs> it's even this, place, this place is better with no money than mm, London. Let's be honest. True. London without money, are you crazy? You're yeah, literally... Exactly. Mm. Yeah. But, but <laughs> so, so you're into film. Yeah. How did that come about? What do you think of Nollywood? What do you think of mm, that versus the, yeah. the foreign film industry? Oh, I love Nollywood. I want to make Nigerian film. I want to yes. tell Nigerian stories, yes. tell Nigerian narratives. Uh-huh. My whole thing is... Like, I think everybody is kind of focused on, like, projecting Nigeria outside, like, taking Nigeria to the world mm. and all of that. But I feel like it's more important to take Nigeria to Nigeria and, Fine. like, so like telling that. our yeah, stories we're so to ourselves. Here, I yes. hate Netflix. I don't watch anything. I do watch Yoruba film. If I'm yeah. watching Nollywood, it's Yoruba on And YouTube, I but... appreciate that. Yeah, like, even New Nollywood, like I'd rather stuff. an old Nollywood to new Nollywood, like, That's a classic. Forever. Old Nollywood is a classic, yeah. There's because some classics being made are, in those oh, times, man. Yeah, I mean... Remember Akemba Bo? That's a classic. <laughs> Man. <laughs> yeah, those days were good. But I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like, I do enjoy the new school. What's this one? Odin Lade and all these messy yeah. and I enjoy that. I literally 
love Yoruba because um, mm. there's a meaning behind a lot of it mm. and they showcase the village life sometimes mm. and they showcase stories. spiritual life yeah. 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 very good stories very good story. but yeah. the ones that are going to the cinema I, I, I don't, don't watch any of exactly those. so like the... they're kind of missing the Nigerian Netflix yeah. do you know what my yeah. biggest like, pet peeve my biggest that's why I don't watch any Nigerian Netflix you know my biggest pet peeve is hearing Nigerians try to force an accent <laughs> <laughs> It's the biggest turn off in humanity, male or female. I don't even want to be like. I'm from together. Philadelphia, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, did you see? There's a recent film that came out. And this guy says he's a cop in Chicago. I can't oh, remember what it was. Was that Blood Sisters? Blood Sisters, exactly. Uh, okay. I was like, oh, yeah. or something. Exactly. So those kinds of things. Like, like, I was like, nigga, shut up, go. I feel like those kinds of things are just not like. Not kind of stories that we should. I'm telling no, you. I appreciate that. I really rate like the way Nollywood is going. Like people are uh-huh. doing great stuff, know. like incru- increasing, better. improving mm. quality, mm. like showing that like Nollywood can be better, and it can and it will. Um, but I just feel like people are trying are not making films for Nigerians. Like yeah. we're not exactly, trying to yeah. make films that are like exactly. that will entertain Nigerians yeah. or yeah. many yeah. for Nigerians or anything. They're trying to make films that for like the people, world yeah. would like mm. see. And By the time you see a film, a Nigerian film where the babe went to sleep and she didn't wrap her hair, you know that the film is not for us. It doesn't make sense. How can you you went to sleep in Bone Street and woke up in Bone Street? I don't understand. I'm not going to sleep in Bone Street. <laughs> like I don't get well, it. Lagos girls are doing that. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. a good point, isn't it? I, feel, I also, yeah. I feel like, I don't know, I don't watch like, doing Netflix, but it shows to show with Lagos. We don't still have There's enough some spots. There's some good ones. Yeah, but we don't have enough spots too because I think they're filming in the same old locations. Mm-hmm. I've clocked that, you that, well. see that You see that bridge? The story that yeah, there's only one time. bridge for them to show. There's only Even one, I two, couple back. spots. You guys on your... Hey, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, you see that uh, intro? That's the one bridge that I can use. That bridge has been used and I've been used. That bridge, yeah, is the only one bridge that can show on all I'm on all shows. You, no, one c- couple of t- hotels here and there that can film match. Like me, I, I literally, I'm not a Netflix user. I've probably used it like three times in life. But I went through one. There was one day I just been watched all South African Netflix shows. Mm-hmm. South African. And I enjoy yeah. their yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. I enjoy I it. They really say... embody the classiness of black people. But I mean, mm. embrace their culture. They speak their language yeah. on yeah. their thing. Yeah. Like, they exactly. don't care. They speak three, yeah, in make... one South African drama, three different languages, South yeah. African languages mm. can be in one, in mm-hmm. one show. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I just Nigerians I it's like an inferiority complex or something that we have about ourselves mm. that we just don't value what we have. We don't value our stories, That's we don't value true, like our culture. You always mm. want to be like something so, else or yeah. or separate yourself from people like separate yourself from like poor people or people mm. that you think are local or this or that. But it's like like what you're actually selling is not the films because stories are the same anywhere like there are only so many types of stories that you can I tell I agree what is separating yeah. you is like your own like cultural difference your I, Nigerian-ness that's a good point. your like yeah. this so I feel like that's really what's missing in Nollywood and I'm trying to just I just want to tell Nigerian stories I want mm. to tell make film I want to entertain Nigerians mm. I'm excited that's mm-hmm. so cool so, yeah but I would recommend some nice like films for you no I please do like uh, and I always like to know about the money so mm-hmm. when it comes to <laughs> Yeah, we get him when get out. <laughs> I always like to always understand the business model and, and everything. So I want to know what the business model of a film is because okay. I've heard films have budgets hmm. and some of the budgets surprised me. Who are the ones that fund the film? Hmm. What is the plan for the film? How do they make how does everybody make money off it? Because when you look at it, I'm gonna gonna lie, I feel like a lot of entertainers are overpaid. In terms of people that contribute to society, hmm. entertainers, both music and film, they're one of the highest paid in society when when they're big. I think they're overpaid. Yeah, well, you know, I the would human... say like the people, the like the masses of people are mm. like behind them. Exactly. So, like, mm. I wouldn't say they're overpaid. Like exactly. some people are overpaid, but like with the volume of I get the mass. The human they're mind. They're generating... The human mind is very expensive so if you can grab the attention of human mind like millions of people so like the money is going to somewhere like it might as well go to the people who are creating it mm. i think um, i think this the, we, the population has been dumbed down to fiend for entertainment yeah. over other things sure. of value yeah. so that's yeah. my point like yeah. you know, the mass mass the mass is maffing don't yeah. get me wrong but i'm saying yeah. that they're overpaid for what they contribute to society yeah. it's mm. literally entertainment when you strip it down yeah. Yeah. but what a teacher contributes what an engineer all these yeah. inventors contribute that's well they're not though. they're yeah. not yeah. actually no, no, let's yeah. be real. When you look at the billionaires, mm. I always study Forbes. A lot of it is... Extremely, especially, yeah. yeah. Anyways, 
I wanted to see, so how does the budget work? The business model, how does that work for a film? Um, I'm still learning. I'm still on my journey. Okay, so, yeah. Um, you just produce a film just now. I see a film. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, but like, yeah, I'm looking Big for budget. investors for my future. <laughs> okay. um, but yeah, so I think a lot of it is private investors. Um, mm. I guess in Nigeria, it's really private investors. They aren't like, they are people, a lot of like, a lot of pe- different people invest in films. Venture capital, like wow, private really? investors, banks, friends, friends, yeah. <laughs> yeah. relatives, benefactors. Mm-hmm. Like, so anybody can put money into a film. Um, so it's just how, like, I guess it's up to the filmmaker to decide how they want to make that, like, raise the budget for a film. Because there's a lot that goes into filmmaking. It's exactly. a huge capital investment. Exactly, yeah. Not one that we particularly value exactly, yeah. um, in hmm. Nigeria I think because like everyone wants like Hollywood quality film but they don't want to put the money mm-hmm. into it mm-hmm. or the people who are making the films are paying themselves like so like the producers or the directors like or the, the actors would take a huge salary and that like mm-hmm. there's like above the line which mm-hmm. is like actor director producer mm-hmm. cast um, yeah. And then there's a below the line who are like the hundreds of people that go into like making a film possible. Yeah. You have your grips, your makeup artists, your mm. um, crafty, like things. ADs, runners, oh, extras. Exactly. That like kind of stuff, the, yeah. that is like a huge cost to mm-hmm. making film. And you have to pay them well. Yeah. Because if you're paying your actors such a huge amount of money, like you have to pay people like a living wage, even more like. A, a bit above a living wage because mm-hmm. that's very important. But you hear in Nigeria, like, they don't even feel on like music video sets, they don't feed them. Mm. You're there, like, because t- it's also, it takes time. Like, oh, yeah, 12 hour say. days, yeah. 16 mm. hour days, you don't feed them. You feed them once a day. That's yeah. like, so crazy. on average, for a, one, more than a 90 minute film, how long does that take for the to film behind the scenes? How many weeks? Is it weeks um, it or depends. days? It depends. Yeah, it depends. I feel like you can film a f- de- depending on like how like intense or mm. the scope of your film mm-hmm. anyway between 10 days six months like it depends mm. on yeah. I've, I've been I've, I've been a Hollywood set you know mm. you know I've been, I've been extra in a couple of Hollywood films okay <laughs> how'd you find that <laughs> niggas were hustling we were hustling <laughs> we were hustling that was the only job at the time but you know what yeah what's actually very interesting is that um during that period of time, like I was a student at, at university uh-huh. and it was the only job I could do for one day and get 500 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Like literally, the money was ridiculous. Mm, yeah, like for yeah, what, yeah. I, what I could have done. Mm. Also, I was going to go and work in retail or somewhere mm-hmm, stupid, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So a couple of good films like Star Wars, oh, um, wow. uh, Avengers. They, oh, they all filmed like Pinewood yeah. Studio in London, right? Mm-hmm. So they used to call us a set like we start early in the morning, like five o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. They will post in one big tent. Mm-hmm. They do costume. Mm-hmm. They do this. AD be running around yeah. like mad. They're like mad people. I'm telling you, they're, yeah, they're, they're calling so on the side. Yeah. But it's like sometimes, yeah, they will not get the shot that day, and uh-huh. they spent almost like a million pounds, uh-huh. Uh-huh. and they literally would have to do the same shit the mm-hmm. next week mm-hmm. because they didn't oh, get the, the next shot day. Like, the next yeah. day because they didn't get the shot. Yeah. So it's like mm-hmm. it's a lot goes into making Burning a film. A yeah. lot goes to making no, a film. No, I can imagine. As in, like, honestly, it's so draining. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, I don't have the patience for that yeah. to redo things over and over again. So yeah, I, that's that's the thing of beauty of life, though. We only see the finished products. We never see what yeah. happens behind Robinson, the scene yeah. in, in anything. <laughs> yeah. So. Wow, that's that's, that's 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 very interesting. I'm excited to to see you know what the yeah. modern Nollywood looks like. So am I. I Are you like trying to create the modern Nollywood? Then I'm trying to make good Nigerian film. I'm trying mm. to yeah. make good like Nigerian entertainment. That's mm. what I'm trying. So to one do. thing I don't like about Nigerian films, I don't know if maybe it might be a style because sometimes right, when you create something you you actually develop your own style mm-hmm. and then you can, can replicate it over a while and people can get used to that style but i don't like slow films i'm telling you mm-hmm. i was about to say something <laughs> they'll be on one scene for three minutes with the same music looping over and over again i've got things to do i'm trying to support <laughs> I'm trying to to this to this day. i was about to say the same thing i like fast cuts so like mm-hmm. can you please nigerian directors <laughs> fast cuts like cut yeah, these scenes like, faster there's a new film um, Blood Brothers, I think you might enjoy that. What's it's this from Blo- no Blood Brothers. Oh. Um, oh, okay, it's coming out. Did you have? Yes, yeah, coming out. So it's with Fowls and mm-hmm. um, Toby Bakri and mm. some other people. I think it's it's the trailer looks good. Is it fast cut? Yes, it's like gang. Because they were that's having that's one conversation for like twenty minutes. I was like, yeah. guy, this is like, a conversation. No. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> a lot of Lonely Wood films can be condensed into half the time. I'm telling you, know. like, yeah, God, it's an- too an- long. Another thing is, though, is about plots. So in the UK, I cannot stand a black British films because 90% of them are about gang Gangs. life. Yeah. And I'm oh sorry, it's the most gosh. bored, played That's out shit. That's the BFI's fault. That's the only thing they fund. My friend Shine oh, okay. be a filmmaker okay. and he just applied to a BFI thing and he was doing this, like, sci-fi. What's BFI, by the way, babe? British, British Film Institute. Institute. Okay, perfect. And so, like, the UK, what's really bad about the UK is that they don't really like getting funding is very hard like mm. to film like I like the UK is such a like money. classist mm. society money, like yeah. it's so elitist in general like mm-hmm. it, it feeds into everything and the BFI is kind of like that so like so they don't fund non-gang films because <laughs> that's a, it says a lot no no, no I'm just trying no, to it's clarify like, it's a lot. I'm saying blue, yeah, yeah, blue you know? stories it's right like, it's, it's where the funding film. is like if you're looking at the the like root cause of anything like look for where the money, money is. you have to see where money <laughs> yeah. flows it's very important and the BFI thinks that black people want to watch films about gang or that's what they think that but that's is. not true that's not I want to see a film about a black guy in uni yes. <laughs> yeah but, but wait though let's let's that, I've got, we've got to bust that myth with one film right Black Panther As, huh? Black oh, Panther okay. was not gang gang yeah. although it was a Marvel film it was not gang gang right and he did very well but, so it was, so what's, 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 what's real, wait hold yeah. on apart from Black it's, Panther America they're even worse they do slavery yeah. films <laughs> I, I, I deliberately didn't mention their own matter well, Attack the Block wasn't, wasn't Attack the Block a, um, a slavery and dancing things are getting better like because of Sci-fi. this like, diversity push and all that maybe it hasn't and come America up in the and UK the U- and the UK is different yeah. so in the UK right now we're still yet to produce anything that's like non-gang related like mm. what really mm. has a film that we can go and watch in cinema for us lot that wasn't gang related Yeah. and the only one one or two of them are even good. I think only kidhood and adulthood were even that good. The that rest was still of them, gang though. Yeah, it was gang. I'm thinking wow. of the gang ones. That's only one or two are even the rest yeah, of them. True, really. The rest of them aren't even that good. I can't, mm. I'm not. God forgive me. That blue story was. It, 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 it was a waste of my time. <laughs> What about Top Boy? <laughs> Top Boy is a series is good. Yeah. Top Boy is good. cool. But at the same time, it gets the same. How many same times? When you, it's what you said earlier. There's only so many plots you can do. Mm. And I think what I appreciate about the Nollywood is the creativity. When Nollywood gets mm. it right, you think you're going one way on more. The reveal. Like, exactly. Yeah. When the family is sitting at the end of the bus and reveals their secret, you're like, yo, you did that. Like, yeah. Really? Yeah. But it, you learn from it and you see mm. glory be to God at the end and all that. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, I still would choose that. Shout out to them. Would creative, no, you don't have to done well, man. We were all raised on your bed. We used to get the discs, we used to get the do you remember part we used one to and part two. Yeah. in my house? Yeah, part one and part two. <laughs> um, but yeah, I still appreciate them a bit more than and uh, no, honestly, I want to see more films from other African countries. Yeah. What's going on in their film industries? Hey, right. film is so expensive to produce, like, okay, yeah, it's, yeah there's a huge barrier to entry into like Mm. doing anything so it's one of the few industries where you are like you need to that's why you think people like just come out of nowhere they don't they've been working Mm. trying to get the connections Mm -hmm. trying to build the networks to like try and get their stories told do you know what she's saying is telling me and it says a lot about media in this space the person with the money can tell the story that they want, the narrative they want exactly. to tell, which is not the brainwashing, but the brainwashing kind can of comes start. from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an, that means if you need, what I'm, I never knew it was kind of like this bad, but you're right. To, to start a film, you need funding regardless. Yeah. And most, was it, is it a producer, director? Who's the one that really starts the film? Anyone, like, but like, film is such a collaborative thing. You need everybody to come, but like, mm. it could be anybody's idea and you get your team together mm. and then you find money. But like, I guess the producer is the person who like, is responsible for like finding the money and maintaining it mm. and like mm. putting okay, so, it all together. So you find the money, you mm-hmm. pay for it. Like if we've been honest, most of the non films is Iroko TV. I'm watching them from and the rest, or yeah. you know, Iroko is yeah. doing great stuff. They're amazing. Like, yeah, it, but, are they are they putting these like local films on the on the net though? Yeah, the I feel YouTube. like Iroko is the closest. Like I would like watch Iroko first before I go to Netflix to watch. Yeah, a film. same. Really? Same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I need YouTube. to get Iroko yeah. subscription. Yeah. Iroko's like, shout out to Iroko TV. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's London, I think it's a London Jason and Jovo. Jason and Jovo. Yeah, you're my guy. Marion Jovo is guy. like the person who. Shout out to his wife as well. She's my She's, she's my the guy. one who like started The Rock and making, producing their films and all of that. I mean, so. like, but, but the thing is, we've talked about the money to fund it. I'm trying to see the, the bottom line. So all that money gets spent on, like you say, the mm-hmm. above the line and below the line. Where does the money get made? Because not everybody's going to cinema. So how do yeah. people make money from the film industry? Mm. Cinema, like direct to video, so like video on demand. So like if Netflix can license your film and like they'll pay you, um, or they'd acquire it, they'd pay you. Um, 
TV. So you can sell the rights in different countries as well. If okay. you go to festivals, you can probably get money from like if your film wins a festival. Like people pick up. It depends on how your film is picked up for distribution. So okay, distribution. If okay. like, and there are different ways to distribute your film. Nice. So, okay. so how much? How much roughly? Let's say want to show a real mm-hmm. crazy scene right now of Joy's crazy life in Lagos. Right? <laughs> so I S- have a film I'm Friday developing night. about <laughs> Lagos life. If we want to make a shot of S crazy life in Lagos right now. Mm-hmm. All right, what's the budget? What budget do you think you can put? Let's say we're going to shoot a couple of restaurants, a couple of mad people. Like, <laughs> kind of filming Lagos, like baseline. Baseline, yeah. For a film, you need at least 20 million, and that's lower budget. Whoa. Yeah, that's like on that the low escalated. end. Sorry, 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 say that again. 20 million, 20 for... million naira to like shoot a film, a feature film in Lagos. Does that cover the actors as well? Yes. Okay. So, like, that's like, price of a note. But, like, that's, and that's on the low end. Wow. You know what, somebody? Okay, I, I get it. But then again, the up, upside is high as well, right? I've seen mm. a lot of rubbish mm, films. Yeah. What are you telling me? Them man burned through 20 million naira. Yeah, they <laughs> burned through 40, if you're thinking about nah, the films. This man, <laughs> like, yeah. Well, and they, and they don't make, on well, but what's the upside? They didn't make the money oh, no, back, Oh, no, okay. Though. But you can make it a good... I'm thinking of a, like, film now, like... Actually, no, 20 mil. Like, really, you need, like, 10... All these things I'm watching with on, on YouTube. Day, on YouTube, all these top. Okay, maybe like 10, 10 five, million. 10. Mm. Like, so each you, each of those things cost 10 million. And they, but they uh, like five to back. 10, they, would, they make the money back. How? YouTube is a source. YouTube will oh, pay you. Like there are millions of views on oh, YouTube yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah but yeah. it, takes, it for, takes a while to get those. But you still recoup your investment if nah. you have a good film or if you have a good distribution. Yeah, I feel people in the film industry need to sell it to us a bit better because yeah, I don't see the value. Bad. Yeah, I think the market is bad because yeah. as an investor, I wouldn't see the value. No, if, like, I just need to see mm. how the money gets. I need to see to the end, the bottom mm. line. And I can't see like yeah. how... Yeah, like, you won't be money. asking these questions if you're watching good films. <laughs> So okay, so it's the mm. con- it's the it's the value of the yeah it's of the media. if they're entertaining you, mm. if they are, you would just pay like but okay yeah I'm not a film person to be honest who's who is, who is, who is like the Tyler Perry of Nigeria right now Mabudu Mabudu yeah, yeah. she's mm. no, they use her yeah every, she's, she's like Netflix. she runs that yeah she's, she's number one really? yeah yeah I read her I, I swear to why yeah 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 content I'm like I feel like I'm just not generally satisfied with the narratives that we are pushing and like the types of films that we're making. Mm -hmm. I think we could do so much better with the money that people are putting into their films. Mm -hmm. But there's like a skill deficit in Nollywood as well. Like you talk about South African films and like how good they are. Mm -hmm. South Africa has a really good like film service industry. Their people are really skilled. They know what they're doing. Okay. Like the, cause like everybody needs to be skilled at their jobs. The oh, facts, um, yeah. The your grips need to know what they're doing. Your mm. gaffer needs to know. Like everybody What's needs to. What's the grips and the gaffer? Like so, just like okay, so the gaffer is like your light, light, light guy, light guy and the okay, grips cool. are like the people who rig stuff for you and like just like but just so, everybody yeah. needs, like a runner or mm, all okay. of the like your DOP like everyone needs to know and be skilled at what they're doing. But I find that Nigerians feel like. Oh, I feel run am like I can just do it, mm. or there's just like no, there's a lack of you can just do here. it like this. Yeah, there's a real Everybody's lack of training and people freestyling. They're yeah. freestyling exactly. here, boy. Yeah. Exactly. So what, what what is it like? I mean, as as ladies of quality, <laughs> 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 what is it like? I'm gonna say because you cause been you know they've been feeling the girl. Yeah, hey, well, well, I've mean, I mean, yeah, some joy rides right? going on. <laughs> So How has it been a star girl? Been there, some Jay rides. Oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah. We actually did. We actually experienced that as well. But we moved. Mm-hmm. How's it be feel being a star girl? Yeah. Next, <laughs> <Star laughs> like like I was saying, London makes you feel. I was saying this to you. Oh like, yeah, you said you were spot like, on. <laughs> She was I spot said, on. It makes you feel like you are still a piece of bread on the shelf. <laughs> she said that to me. I screamed, <laughs> but she was so accurate. You come to Lagos. She was so accurate. And before the ground you is shaking, exactly. <laughs> like, and it just reminds me. Of who I am, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Of who I actually am. Yes. yes. No. It's so been... the guys are flooding, like you're just, just they're stumbling upon each other. They to appreciate get to you. black I'm beauty calling. better yeah. here than obviously London does. Nice, so nice. especially if you're not educated, you know your market is smaller if you're mm. an educated black female. Mm. So that's yeah. another thing. And in London, then man, you man are struggling with everything. You know. <laughs> what do you mean, you man? You man, you man. What do you mean, you man? You might have escaped the matrix, small, small, but you and the rest of the band, yeah. No, just try that. <laughs> Pound has you by a chokehold. 
<laughs> so you're carrying on the stress you onto us, you know. Mm. And so, but here these men appreciate black beauty. Like mm. they actually like women that look like their mothers. Really? Whereas in London, man, it's a turn off. The more you yeah. look like their mother, the more the turn off. I mean, and this is for like Nigerian and black guys in London as well, or yeah, just. Oh, like, we're only talking about black guys. Nobody's oh, talking about okay. any other. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> See my mouth. <laughs> I'm just gonna get myself. Do you date other race? Do you date other the race then? Oh yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> I like just date people. You're open, yeah. yeah. You're okay. open. Yeah. Have you dated other race nice. before? Um, been on dates, yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. Because mm-hmm. we ask a question, you can just tell. Yeah, no, but you're quite I'm, open. You're quite open-minded. Like open yeah. yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. So what what you do you looking? prefer, white white men or black men? I don't even like I feel like I meet you as an individual and like whatever context you're coming from like You just take it that way. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. That's nice. Yes. <laughs> yes. What's good? What's good? Is it is it is it white men on that? Chocolate you have my only <laughs> <laughs> If you fall out those parameters, I won't be around you for a long time. And I'll they're giving you stress in Vegas. No, no, don't even start. It's actually true. But I feel like, let me not even get started on that. I mean, like, yeah, even like regardless, I'm so small minded in dating. Like, I'm the I'm the worst because I've got so much going on in life. I don't have time mm. to like trying to be. Yeah. It's just too much. Mm-hmm. This is me. Like, and it, I, I'm not not saying it's the best strategy. Always been working and mm. amazing, but I just for me, you got to be nice and dark and tall because us tall girls is tough as well london men are short <laughs> they are the new really? the, the, lack, of, the lack, yeah. Yeah. lack of nutrients the lack of nutrients is really they're affecting really the they really start with people of nutrients in london America, you know? guys, oh, yeah. 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 all the growth the growth hormones yeah, 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 yeah. in the food london yeah, yeah, yeah. man yeah. Yeah. london man you wear heels you'll be feeling like you know giants <laughs> <laughs> but nigerian guys are taller though i find nigerian guys here taller you think nigerian guys in nigeria are taller on average height on average average i said on average you're you'll find an average Nigerian guy will be taller than an average like black Brit. Okay, I think so. so. On a date, so, yeah. like I want to describe something for right now. What was it like dating an average London guy to an average Nigerian guy on a date? It's <laughs> 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 I need more. I need more sympathy. <laughs> Are we gonna cut? Do you think it cut? Because I want to sip too. I want to sip too. All right, let's let's, let's oh, one minute. Yeah. Then you come out. Pick my answer. Pick my goddamn answer. Cool. So basically, you know what? As a man, I'm always one because obviously, like, I've got my London side, I've got my Nigerian side, and I'm trying to find a balance. Well, I, I think the balance is. What do you mean? He's got his London babes and he's got his Nigerian babes. That's what, what he means smart. to say. Yeah. Like my baby is what you smart. Say? You got your London babes and you got your, your Nigerian. Nigerian she said that's what you're saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, please, please, please. I don't, have any <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any. Please, please, please. Anyways, yeah. What is it like on average? The average guy, the average mm. London man, and the average Nigerian man on a date. What mm. is it like? What are the differences that you've noticed? <sighs> like okay let's even start with conversation yeah yeah. i feel like london guys don't know more than like work like finance i hear a lot about like finance like work like this 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 happened blah 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 yeah i work on the footsie blah 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 <laughs> like it's so just, you're dating city boys but, basically no, that's yeah. what we are what can we we worked yeah. in the city so like what can right. we do yeah and like black professional has a very kind of cookie cutter. There's only there's w- only one real kind yeah. of like black professional in the UK. But whereas here, facts, you meet facts. so many people doing so many different things oh, who preach, are all girl. like entrepreneurs, hustling, moving, like doing stuff, oh, progressing. But the conversation is different. There's dynamism in it. You're mm. going to fight, have different conversations. You're going to learn something facts. new and you're going to like you know make i don't know deeper connections and mm. there's people people are using their like more of their faculties here because of the struggle you exactly. have to like engage more of your brain but that is quite spot nice on. to like be around mm. i find yeah interesting, spot on interesting mm. so you're having better conversations yeah well apart from the conversations what other things <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing it's no, so no, funny no. In the evil in the evil <laughs> what other things have you I'm noticed right about the conversations? I don't know anything. I, hmm. Okay. okay. For you, boy. No, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the last thing, and then we'll move on to somebody else. <laughs> talk about their own. But, like, just like the dating etiquette is just a bit more, like, there's a bit more, mm, a bit more, va va voom. Really, there's more energy to put into it. Like, yeah. I want you, yeah, yeah. your mind kind of That's exactly. why you've been going on joyrides. <laughs> 
nah, don't draw right uh, <laughs> bad boy. <laughs> we really saw it all. But boy. he's doing dilly dallying. It's all very clear. Like mm. it's much clearer here than in London. I feel interesting, like interesting. there's you know there's a bit more. Um, yeah, yeah. That. that's yeah. good. How about you? How about you? Yeah, what you how about you, babes? Oh my god, US guys from Nigeria. Oh, mm. yeah. I've not dated a lot actually. Yeah, um, I don't know. I find that Nigerian guys are just like much more intentional with mm. like pe- people. Too much, too much. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Actually, Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> actually, yes. Yeah. Sorry, just <laughs> intentional. <laughs> Especially if like if let's say we're not talking about like fuck boys or people who are just like playing. Like they just like mm-hmm. like if someone takes you seriously, they take you seriously. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I feel like I get that a mm. lot better with. Yeah. Like Nigerian men. That's mm. interesting. I'm always talking on the pod. American guys are just too freaky. Like, it's actually, can you just calm down? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I haven't dated any. Uh, okay, guys. fair enough. Because I feel like they're, they're divinely good looking. American guys look like gorgeous. I don't gorgeous. like good looking men. American guys are good looking. Why? I don't like guys that are too good looking either. Yeah. yeah. That's what they said. But, yeah, but well, they said they don't like good looking men. No, 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 no. Uh, that's why. You gotta have a bit of roughness yeah. to your finish. <laughs> but you, look, you always look too feminine. Like, why are you so pretty? Like, it's a turn off. Just feminine doesn't do anything with like men. Like it doesn't do it doesn't add anything. What? Fineness. Like fineness. Mm. Really? Really? So you like a man with more money or gravitas? Which one? Money or gravitas? I I feel like it's just like someone has like a very strong sense of self. Like that is Mm. what I look for in a person. Kindness and a strong sense of self. Like Mm. where do you get more chivalry? Here or out other areas? Here. No, Nigerian really? Nigerian men, yeah. yeah. I don't think I've like, I don't think I've touched a touched the door knob. <laughs> Nigerian <laughs> men are number one. Like all doors have been hoping for me. I said hoping <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Nigeria is coming in. Girl, you've been in like three days. <laughs> and the H Factor has already arrived. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Uh, yeah, no, they, they, you're right. You don't have to. I mean, they're, they're good. They're good here. Honestly. Anyways. Anyways. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a sticky one. So, 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 so right one, now. I don't know why here. he always had to bring this topic on. Let, I, let's just I only want to talk about right. business. No, because right now, right men. now, you're, 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 you're one way on this end, and never some looking at you like. So that's still keep company because like you're getting joy around these things. I want to break doors. <laughs> What's going on with this, with this What's going on with situation? Me? But the thing is, yeah, I literally just stay at home all day playing on Excel. I, I just focus on my work really? and my business. But every once in a while, you go out, you meet people, people. I just think, I just think it's tough when you've actually moved back mm. because I think you never, you live your own life. You don't see how they see you. Mm. And unfortunately, some of them may see me as a novelty because mm. I'm actually like an IJGB that's moved back. Mm. Everybody likes things that are fresh, right? Mm. So it's like, imagine you're living in Nigeria, but you're the only white man. Mm. A lot of the girls are going to like you because mm. you're novelty. Mm. So I think maybe there's a factor to that. But I'm just, like I said last time, I'm starting to appreciate London man again. I definitely like their voice. Speaking to a London guy <laughs> on the phone is a lot better. Really? But they don't have the, the intellectual range that you get here. By voice, do you mean like their voice or their accent? I was like, hey, yo, what are you saying? Okay. Like, that, I miss that. As opposed to, I hello, know. sweet princess, can I get to know you? <laughs> I want to know you more. <laughs> My yeah. brothers, I'm, that I'm is so what I want to hear. I can't. I can't let this happen. Yeah, to they did the most. Man. Some of them. I don't want to hear all that. Okay. <laughs> no, but the way Nigerian guys talk sometimes it can be sexy. You got know I me mean? like, yeah. huh? Yo, let me send you two million. Shout out to my wonderful, <laughs> shout out to my wonderful father. My man told me it's like, look, yeah, Nigerian man have a very sweet mouth. Mm-hmm. Ever since he told me that, I, I, my mind has always been sharp because it's like, come because it comes up insincere yeah sometimes you're doing too much and the more you if you if i feel that vibe too quick as well too quick yeah too quick that's what i'm saying they're just quick they're as it's too quick very like Mm front-loaded yeah 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 Yeah, 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 but if you want if you know what you want you're gonna take it (laughs) i i agree with that but i think you also have to read the woman and also temper Mm. it because if you do too much but you think london men are too slow no, London, London man, london man. i just think london man yeah i own the only issue of london man they'll drag you for time no it's the economy Mm. The economy and the environment. British people are conservative. Look at British people compared to all Europeans. They're the most conservative. No matter how powerful they are, they're quite conservative and dry. Mm. So when you fuse that with your own culture, you become like, if you allow the system, especially when you work in a city because you're literally around middle class, upper Mm. white people, it gets into you. So I think they're too docile in a way. And also because Mm. they only know the UK, they don't have a global mindset. Mm. So when you speak to them, 
And when you chill with your guys, what are they really talking about? Just girls, football. football. There is the, the conversations are just so myopic. Mm. Whereas like you said, oh my days, every single time. I've never, no matter what, when you go to dinner with a guy, you're right. The range of things that you'll learn in here mm. is so different. Mm. So yeah, I mean, honestly, say no to Nigerian men. <laughs> say no to Ibo men, say no to Nigerian men. No, say no to Nigerian men. I told, I told you, that we're traveling Africa together next year. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Shout out to all these Pan-African, uh, yeah. all these other Pan-African, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna see what's what's the <laughs> what Doctor. the Kenyan men nah. are saying. Who wants to be a who wants to be a new co-host of the show? Because I'm done with this nigga. <laughs> I'm just trying to pan African man. No, no, no. That's getting cut out. <laughs> No, no. I'm, I'm not taking I'm nothing saying, out. But, but, I'm saying, shout out. you saying my friend Anisha? Okay, so <laughs> let's talk about Doctor and his antics. So let's oh, just break really. some things down. No, no, no. Down. Anyways, exactly, long story exactly, short, yeah. Exactly, long story short. Long story short, yeah. No, there, it, there's, been, there's been a few dating. that game. <laughs> 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 there's, been few, there's been a few dating, like, other people. But also the benefit dating in Nigeria. I think that at the end of the day, all Nigerian girls abroad should end up marrying a Nigerian person and keeping the culture growing. Yeah, because I'm not a big fan of kind of diversifying the culture. Uh, yeah, I'm like you actually. I'm gonna... Because in order to build something strong, you need more quantity and quality. Yeah, quality. Mm. And yeah. I think as, as quality people, you need to kind of come together and, and work on building that culture. Yeah, we need more. We need we need better examples of of black mm. couples. Yeah, mm. because for some reason this there's generation, a lot of examples in Nigeria, man. Come this, on, let's this be generation real. are they? they are. When you hear the tea behind the scenes, you just don't know. I mean, this generation is so thirsty on love, but we have the most broken relationships of anyone. It's because we're so ashamed of shame. So, like, I'll tell you the truth, right? There's a huge amount of shame culture in now because people are on social media and all these things, so people can see when things go wrong. Our parents yeah. go through worse, more like a lot worse. There's like four or five wives in the home, marriage broken, this, that, da, 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 right? But they still stick together and they make the family unit mm. and they all come together on the wedding. Suit. Five wives still stick together. They better <laughs> stay there. No, 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 but I'm saying, <laughs> it, I'm not saying it's right. What I'm trying to say is that like the culture is more important. The, the, serv- the service to family is more important than your ego and your fact that you're going to be ashamed that this person will love a woman. I hear you, but you've got to mm. be careful with that because sometimes it can create a toxic environment and damages mm. the children. Sometimes it's better for them to actually split and mm. to go their own way, mm. and you, the children will, may end up healthier. I think you've got a point in the sense that us lot have too many options. With me, you mess around mm. one minute, blocked next, onto the next. <laughs> like it's as in like it's black water. Marriage that's did, a problem listen, though because you're supposed to spend time to get to know people. Mm. Yeah, I want to say this here: marriage is duty. Marriage is duty to community, is duty mm. to family, is duty to mm. kind of growth of that lineage. Right? Mm. There's no way that you're gonna feel upset one day because of sex. And then you're going to throw away marriage. Are you guys hearing it? Please, I want this, please. Wait, you guys wait, take wait, this, wait. take over. Because I have to do this every week. <laughs> <laughs> so I want you guys to address this. <laughs> I was going to say, so Shadowway and I, we used to dabble into the Kevin Samuels a little, a little. Yeah, we did. A little, yes. little bit. We did, we liked it. And yeah. something that he said was that, like he said, marriage is a duty and that a husband and a wife is actually a role. It's not a, um, it's not a partnership. It's actually a role with responsibilities mm. underneath it. So that buttresses what you were just saying about like mm. marriage is actually a duty. Sure. You've got a duty to do. You've got a duty of care to this person and to mm-hmm. yourself and fulfill this role. Yeah. So when it's the rest of what you said, that's, <laughs> on you ah That's no no, no. You, can't, you can't take half of it and then agree with half and the other one you just said is, is, is throw away what do you think though like do you think like this whole culture of like oh let's break up let's go and be with someone else let's go and do... what do you think about that culture because I'm not a big fan of that culture right now I don't know I feel like similar to what Shallow I said like there are a lot of options but I do feel like I'm with you on the and you about like duty. Like you have to kind of stick it out with per- with someone and like try and work. I think one thing people don't realize is even with like in marriage, you're still individuals. You're still people. You're yes. humans. Like yeah. you have to understand the the like human being you're with mm-hmm, and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like their flaws, their um, what makes them happy, what like drives them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's when you like both have mutual understanding that like you do what works for you not necessarily like on jumping off your thing of shame like doing what works for you and not caring about what like other people are saying like my uber driver yesterday was talking to me and we were having a really nice conversation about how oh it's his son's like third birthday and his they're going to celebrate it in like children's church and mm-hmm. they're and he's like just talking about how like what he explained was like just a happy family unit mm. where he's mm. like, oh, I even helped my wife like 
at home like when i'm like i work four days a week so like when I'm on my off day, like they'll be begging me to cook because they like my, my food, food and yeah. I go into the kitchen and I like yeah, make bring, it bring for it them. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> I was just like, he's like, um, he was saying like, oh, how people will now be saying, oh, it's his wife that is controlling him, not mm. um, this thing. And then, but then he doesn't listen to them. And I feel like that sure. kind of, sums a bit up like do what works for you yeah. in like your partnership in your role True. don't be do, like thinking about what other people do like do I your agree. duty to the other person mm-hmm. while also understanding like you're a human they are human let's meet each other in the middle and whatever yeah. you people are facing like if you've decided to face it together like I agree because some people have open relationships and I mm-hmm. feel like if that works for you that works mm-hmm. for you but I feel like men should give women the option to want an open relationship and rather than be out here with 50 women and the girl is just looking like a mumu mm-hmm. up and down. I think it's better yeah. for them to be open. That's the only thing women open. are. Unless the yeah, girl is like, like women okay, argue I'm okay about. with you wanting to, like, like if it was working for her. But well, you know a lot of men don't give us up that. Exactly, they don't care. Yeah, yeah. So it's better to be open. Mm. Yeah, as long as it's like, everyone knows where they're standing. Yeah. And, like, y'all do you. That's good. I'm trying to with me. I bought you, boy. What? <laughs> what <do> you better <laughs> speak with your chest, boy. <laughs> <laughs> What's your opinion on, on polygamy? I think polygamy is healthier than baby mama culture. Oh, I like that. Mm. What's your opinion of polygamy? I yeah. would agree. Yeah, I think it's I better. I think it's more responsible. Yeah. Than, than... It's, more, it's healthier. It's more responsible. Yeah. If, and that's why I say, for me, if what you said, speaking with your chest, I think men should do what they need to do with their chest. If you're a Noah, you're a man that cannot commit to one woman for eternity, that's fine. That's you. Mm. But let's have open so, yeah, communication. Mm-hmm. And, you know, because it, it damages you. Your, what you do damages not just you, you mm. and the woman, mm. it's the children. Mm. That you now got women, yeah, that have daddy issues, sleeping, you know, <laughs> being a sugar baby for some man, looking for daddy's love because mm. they saw the mm, way yeah. the dad taught, treated the mum. Mm. Or you have your men out here that sometimes carry the same thing on. So I just think more dialogue. Again, you mentioned another topic we won't speak about today, but I think a lot of subjects in African culture are quite taboo. Mm. And we need to have more dialogue mm. because the more dialogue we have, I we can actually be less. Human beings... Honestly, if we watch each other, if I had a video camera and watched you and you and you all day for like a week, mm. I'd be like, damn, is that you? Mm. Is this what yeah. you go through in a week? Mm. Is what you, if you saw my life, okay, mm. you guys know I'm, my life is crazy already. But, <laughs> <laughs> but if you saw my life for two weeks, you'd be like, damn. So it's like, we all go through so much in our day to day. We don't speak to each other all day, every mm. day. Mm. And unfortunately, sometimes you can feel like you're isolated going through some things. But in reality, it's even in your own network, people yeah. are going through it. Yeah. So yeah, we just need to like encourage more dialogue and, and, and in those areas. But yeah. it's good having you guys. No, just to end it, though, yeah. we've got us question. This yeah, final one. Our if you were question. the president of Nigeria, what would you do differently? Yes. Mm. I like the fact that everyone looks at you because, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, like, no, I'm very pro Nigeria. I'm patriotic citizen yes, here. Team like, Mama Africa. I, yes. <laughs> um, I think. I feel like you should be president should just lead by example. Like if you want mm. good for the country, be a good like a statesman, like mm. a good country person. Mm-hmm. Like care about everyone in the same way. Like care about the citizens. Um, I also feel like we need to just reorientate ourselves in like what our value systems i think our value systems are really fucked up and oh we are God. we have tell me about it we have like generational trauma Facts. that mm. we need to address um, yeah. military rule Preach. Um, <laughs> even this whole thing of like even how we treat like money i think we actually oh need God. to we like, overvalue money don't we in we this need to be like think about like how we actually view money and this thing because like spraying culture like love it spray me money no but, like, like it's really true spray me money but like money what are you like yeah. why are you spraying like money, we actually value know? the fist, like the money like mm. it's not like what money can do it's like the money, money. like it's like we actually treat it like it's god but mm. it helps us though Mo- because money is the value <sighs> you used to talk in this country it's, that's what i'm saying it actually like, it help, it helps us progress in life the problem is because of the first point you made mm-hmm. not thinking about community we leave the other ones behind yeah but it's yeah. they're getting money and not being smart people. enough to you understand to the oppress, money that's the like, issue you get money to oppress people. Yeah. that's the issue i yeah. think it's a colonial legacy because like 
British were oppressive and it's mm. with like money and well it goes back that. to this uh, open discussion because when people experience trauma you have two options never to ever do that again or, or to, continue to continue the cycle yeah. and what we see is it's cycles continue yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's the problem mm. Mm. what would you say yeah. princess I think I would <laughs> look into <laughs> sweet now or do or do mine's a bit different I would do like something about like the beautification of like spaces aesthetics. and aesthetics. I've exactly. said this, I've said this to someone thing. before. Because <laughs> I've said this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I asked it, let me tell you what I said one time. Yeah. yeah. Let me, I'm, no. This is going so good. Is that the my house? I cried with laughter. <laughs> that was the funniest thing ever. I so died. basically, I said, yeah, I said mm. this, right? So you see in Nigeria when you're driving on the road <laughs> and then you see all these kids knocking your door, mm, mm, like auction mm. money and all this stuff, right? The government should literally, like, all those people that don't have jobs, mm. they should give them jobs of cleaning the whole <laughs> 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 job. Yeah. 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 No, you know, cleanliness, yeah, it can reset your mind. I'm oh, telling that's you. What I'm that's why, that's why I agree. this is why this is like the main I thing. I'm telling you. Because when you look at Lagos, it looks like we don't care. It's a yeah. ghetto. It's yeah. a ghetto. Yeah. It's, it's disgusting. disgusting. Exactly. Like, Lagos is the most disgusting place on Every earth. unemployed. It's really bad. You get your unemployment check. walk at night sometimes. It's disgusting. You're some cleaning, man. Cleaning. Clean like, everywhere. I'm thinking the of gutters, the aesthetics. We don't think everything. of aesthetics. Why are people like building houses oh, and you're just building a block? That's what I wanted to talk like, about next. That is another thing. Point, like, your point is aesthetics. so critical because I knew a guy that's a property developer and I asked him, when in the lifetime of our generation do you think we're going to start building actual properties? Mm. I thought you were going to talk about the point that you made when Nigerian toilets are slanted. He <laughs> 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 said to me, why are the toilets like this? Yeah, like, <laughs> everywhere you go to, yeah, when it comes to the, the whole house, like, when you're in the toilet, <laughs> it's just fucked up. <laughs> like, you'll be, you end up you and the, the sink will be having a conversation. <laughs> like, what kind of nonsense is that? You know, nah, like, your toilets are messed up, man. I'm telling you, they have a conversation. Look at this toilet, I just got locked inside. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, look at this. <laughs> yeah, why have we got toilet issues it's in this country? It's actually thank God for my home girl. Yeah, she got her out of the toilet. <laughs> my girl was knocking up stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nigeria, yeah. Like, so the point you made, I love it so much because I'm always preaching everywhere on the planet of this earth in a city, in a major city has a rich neighborhood. Mm. Nigeria, Lagos Doesn't. is the only city on this world that does not have a rich neighborhood. Yeah. We have estates that you can live in yeah. and you can drive into the mm -hmm. estate. We yeah. don't have one area. Forget Banana and Nikoi because mm. then places are ghettos as well. <laughs> like, I'm not, I, said, I don't care what anybody <laughs> says. I will go to tell you, Nikoi is a ghetto. a ghetto. There's no, just, there's nothing in Nikoi to distinguish you yeah. from the, the rest of Lagos like you're still seeing the same kind of faces traffic vibes rubbish smell I walk at night I'm such a worry sometimes you just because we're in London we walk sometimes we walk I, I, walk, I can't walk I in Nigeria to you. I wasn't they were worried about me I was walking at night I go for walks the offensive odors. <laughs> Guy, it would it, what would it take to close the gutters in this country? Like, what would it take? To, I feel like I'm gonna catch all this vaccination you're talking about. I'm not from my own childhood <laughs> vaccine. You know I'm gonna catch disease. I might, I might oh, set up a foundation to just dedicate the cleaning. No, Nigeria. I was gonna do that for the beaches. You know one yeah, thing I noticed yeah, yeah. there are no bins anywhere. Like, yeah. good any point. city you yeah. go to, good like point. every like ten meters or whatever yeah. it is, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a bin. Mm. We don't have a bin That's culture. That's a good point. Like, put bins there. Tell people to. Like Rwanda's very good at that. Fact, I mean, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Like the fact no, there are no public things yeah. anywhere yeah. is like a problem. That's why you're but at the beachfront like, and it's dirty. Have you what is it? Even it's Nigeria dirty. is clean. You know how beautiful this country will look like. Yeah. The beach, the beachfront. Don't get me started on that because I mean that's, the, the, that's another point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. What, if you think about it, what does it? What kind of society are we where <laughs> men just like <laughs> urinate <laughs> in the street? They genuinely like. Do you remember that that last? If you saw the I, way I screamed, I saw Willie live and direct. <laughs> I screamed. This man were laughing at me in the car like, what have you been here? I, it was rain, it was pouring with rain. I saw fresh Nigerian <laughs> fresh Willie piece. onto the thing. I was like, ah, I cannot do like this. Kind of, oh, no, this country is traumatized. Nah, but the, the reason why is this here. If you go to somebody's house, right? And it's very clean. Don't you even get scared to even, even put the cup on yeah, the table because it's like, standard. oh no, it's standards. Let's put a coaster. Exactly. Let's make sure the, the water Girl, is on the table. Yeah. But <laughs> if you go to someone's and it's dirty, you exactly. you you just join exactly. and just throw everything exactly. around. So that's what I that's know. The about mindset. Yeah. That's the mindset. When I'm I'm no, I'm I'm in the network. I know a few non-black expats here, and the things I hear and the way they talk about Nigeria, it, it, it they've lost all respect for us. Mm. Yeah, so they get yeah. carried away because they've seen me maybe partially as close to, to them than mm. the average Nigerian, and they get carried away with how they speak, and I find it offensive. But they're not saying anything wrong either. Mm. So, and I'm not like 
uh, sensitive enough to also mm-hmm. say that you're saying yeah. the truth. Mm-hmm. They say we have no humanity. Sometimes they get carried away. You know, humanity, mm-hmm. dirty, this. But it's the truth, though. It's the truth. Yeah. It's the truth. But it's... coming from them, I'm looking at coming from that. them. It's like yeah. hold your Somebody role. said this. Somebody said this. Or I can't. Remember. This is so close to home. But somebody said this to me, and they were not of 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 our race, right? Mm. And I just said, she said something. I was like. I just, you know what it's just that like you can't say that. If I was in the UK right now, I would hot you up for saying that. But what did they say? It was just like, I think they were, they were in an airport. Okay. And then she was like, oh, I'm a, it was like, oh, because I'm a, I'm a, I was a white woman talking to you. You, yeah. you Talking to who? Tony? Nigga. Not me, not me, uh, not me. There's another Nigerian. She was talking about her experience in the airport in Nigeria. Okay. But she said it in the, from a privileged Asked point of like, view. I'm a white man talking to you, so you should treat me differently. Yeah. Um, <laughs> see, I, I really... <laughs> because this is definitely going against the books. Lot... But that situation happened. I was like, you would never say this in London, boy. Guy. You would never say like... this in London expats like i feel like there are a lot of more expats in nigeria no, I know, quite a lot, a lot of white people white, even white, white like, ones, yeah. one thing that really disturbs me is like they do not like mix with nigerians like um, and i don't know why like are we should we be more open okay should i'll tell you be... i can give you some background okay. to it uh, some, sometimes no but it's not actually not that sometimes company directs nigeria even i speak to air hostesses nigeria is still a country that they're not even allowed to go out and air hostesses yeah. get directives they're not allowed to go out in mm. and i know expats like they were not allowed to actually go out into the to the city they, unless they had security sometimes we're just, we're it was just against it was against the law of the company that put them there mm. and i know quite a few mm. in the community another thing is people gravitate to who they can relate to. Mm. So expats was chill with expats. Like even, the, I know an expat and he told me the spots he goes to and he knows he can go there by himself because he's going to meet other not people, experts, expats. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not as, um, yeah, it's not as bad as like, they're not, it's not deliberate in a way. I feel um, like that should like change though because no, no, there's no way that like you should be like so like insular within another community, like in the community that you're living in. And hmm. I, like, I'm not gonna lie to you. In the south of London, I saw a white woman walking by herself the other day, Fam. and I was like, I just, I just closed my eyes. I was like, what the fuck is going on? I live in GRA, and like, like people walk, like they walk all. Yeah, yeah but that's yeah, yeah, GRA. GRA, GRA is fine, like, but like, if you're in somewhere like in the middle of nowhere, same way GRA is like crazy. I guess so. GRA is also like, yeah, and getting like it's a beautiful ghetto. Yeah, I mean, but again, funny enough, this is ironic coming from me but this is the one time I'm going to go the other way I don't think it's that bad because when we go to think about London no matter how much people tra- say London is multicultural do we not go to our own pockets mm. yeah we do we go grew, to our own we pockets, grew up yeah, in a yeah. non-black area but mm-hmm. let's be honest all of us Nigerians in that area yeah, that well, they all know each other <laughs> we still gravitate to yeah. your kind mm. so I don't I don't knock them off too much for that I can't mm. lie just maybe because I've just been around enough of them what I do knock them off for is getting carried away and the way they talk because at the end of the day if you've got siblings you can bully your sibling, but outside nobody no, can talk to myself. I, I will kill you. You cannot. Mm-hmm. You cannot do anything to any of them. Mm-hmm. So it's the same kind of approach I have. Yeah, I'm, I, I you need not, to chill. I'm not a fan yeah. of anybody from outside of Nigeria of talking a race badly talking about, about, about Nigeria. <laughs> exactly. You no, know, yeah. the funny thing here, yeah, like, <laughs> listen, we need to sort that out. I'm telling you, the day I'll see one white person like, chat shit in Nigeria, I swear to God, I'm gonna come for you with every might <laughs> because I'm, you know what I'm saying, because we pay you like you have to get money. Like, don't come be rude as well at the same time. No matter like, yes, there's one video I watched. Oh one God. guy was being rude to like a petrol pump guy or whatever. It was very, very disrespectful. And it was from another race. And I was just thinking, bruv, like, you would never try this in front of me, you know? Like, they tell me, I'll come out okay. the car. I hate I to be devil's advocate. <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah. No, I saw this video of this um, guys. They were playing golf at a cricket club or something. Okay. And the, um, the younger, like, white son or something, like, was chatting shit to the this guy. Okay. And then the guy slapped him. He was like Sorry, <laughs> he was trying to fight. The younger the younger guy was trying to fight this um older Nigerian man. Like an uncle. Like you want to fight like you are you're doing disrespect to him. He wow. slapped his face. He slapped the white and guy. then he started this thing and then they slapped somebody else. They slapped another <laughs> white person like yeah I'm out. <laughs> See, more of that, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigerian, sorry, yeah. sorry, I don't want to promote violence. Yeah. <laughs> but Nigeria will do that. No, other African nations, they don't. That's why you see China take over Zambia already mm. or other places. And if you're yeah. not careful, so you so Nigeria, we still have some liver to, yeah. to fight back. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. I would take, I would, I would, I would see racism outside of Nigeria. 
I might just talk about it and not address it physically, but if you're doing racism, <laughs> <laughs> zero, zero tolerance. Zero tolerance. Zero tolerance racism in Nigeria, but, boy. Uh, again, I'm so, I hate to do this in this circumstance, but I just want to put something we out have there. To plead, plead no, I have to yeah. because it's important. Mm-hmm. Human beings are wired to take advantage of what they know they can take advantage yeah. of. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Even, That's why yeah. Devin even, asked me a question the other day. Exactly. I remember, even yeah. that's what I've come back. We say this place is lawless, it benefits us. Yeah. So when you come to an environment that people don't respect themselves, how mm-hmm. can you respect exactly. them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we need to do is, yes, we need to deal with people that get carried mm-hmm. away. It's the Chinese that are abusive and the and the and the old people that come that are abusive. We handle them. But what we need to channel more energy to is, making sure is ensuring that we as a well. nation ourselves, respect yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the main that is yeah. thing because let's be honest with we us don't. we don't we don't we really don't we really i feel like we don't know like have a, a sense of agency uh, yeah. of self mm. like we have a strong sense of self but like not where it matters like it's like it's it, there's like a pride mm. but there's it's like not rooted in anything mm. ghana yeah, has exactly. that though ghana Empty has pride. that i like that yeah because yeah. yeah. ghana has i remember i remember one I had a story about a guy saying um oh they i think they were the ghana has a centralized or it's, i don't know if it's a specific area had a centralized water system where everybody has a similar, like the way London is, right? Nobody has their own tank. Yeah. So this guy was just opening the water and was just wasting it, was pouring it away. And then somebody was like, ah, like, why are you just wasting Ghana's water like that? Like, that doesn't make any sense. They were checking the person who mm-hmm. opened it and just left it pouring. Mm-hmm. But in Nigeria, because it was so individualized, yeah. everyone having their own thing, people don't really care. Like, this is like, ah. Yeah. Is it road? Literally, my, my road in my place, at least I was driving recently on the way here and there were some potholes on the road. I was literally, in my head, I was thinking, okay, I'm just going to come to get a bag of cement. I put some guys together and just going to fix that road. Because like, that's like, that road, yeah, literally, I there's so many that. rich people on the road. Mm-hmm. Like, everybody's rich on that road. Fair. Why can't that road be fixed? Mm-hmm. You'll be driving on a road yeah. of kings. I love that thing. You said it on the love episode, the kings of the dirt. <laughs> there's, there's roads in this in like Lagos Island with kings that live on it. And mm-hmm. there's gravel that you're driving on. Yeah. Like. And, and he said, he said they're kings of the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> like, what king are you like? And then you're walking around with all these big egos, you know? Yeah, like, but your road is fucked up. These are, these are, these are top like, 10 people. Your house, you're mm-hmm. king of your own castle. You're not like in the yeah, community. Yeah, but again, and all of to play that. devil's advocate, because I do ask questions. Like, I, I do mm-hmm. kind of, when I'm around these people, I do like to know what's the real reason. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, you know, sometimes it's bureaucracy. You yeah. know, London has bureaucracy, but it's different. Mm-hmm. London has bureaucracy because you need to tick the boxes mm-hmm. and tick your, you know, Nigeria's bureaucracy is, is ego and paying people off. Yeah. So what happens is some of these roads are state roads, some of them are federal, federal roads, yeah. and the politics behind that is another yeah. conversation. Yeah. And that is why some of them want to fix it, but the but stress they will to, go yeah. through. Mm. So as us lot, as every day, we're like, oh my God, what the hell? But then by the time you speak to the ones that even sometimes have the will, mm. it's just not as simple. It's yeah. not as simple. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I, I agree with yeah. you. Yeah, someone yeah. wanted to fix a road, because also Jerry has bad roads. Yeah. Like, someone wanted to fix a road that they kind of contributed to spoiling. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> um, he, he used to like empty his pool out into the road. No, 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 like, no, 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 guy, no, no, no. I, I tell you, no, it no, destroyed no. the road. No, no, no. So no. apparently, he wanted to fix it, but then the government told him, or local government, or whoever it is, told him to pay ten million naira yeah. on top of fixing the road. Mm-hmm. So I mean, instead of it, like you know, we could like adopt it as like tax incentive, fix the road, like your like reduced tax that kind of thing but no mm, you pay like that's a good one 10 million naira nah. to, um top of the money the you're still going can, to pay yeah. to fix the road Nigeria messed up man anyways I mean, that's your orientation we'll get there that's some yeah. good that's some good gems you've given us there. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm yeah. gonna these are future presidents you know they've got yeah. some good ideas <laughs> oh no my dream job I mean, is to run NTA NTA Ooh, yeah queen of media then yeah. so future queen. I remember I remember when I was younger nine o'clock in the evening who just died? My dad would be like, everybody run away, we'll get on TV. <laughs> we just turn on NTA. We <laughs> just turn on NTA. I just oh. see one m- m- motherfucker that I've never eaten in two weeks <laughs> on the teleprompter. Oh. I'm like, I'm today, so I'm like, With that fake British accent. With that fake British accent. <laughs> Nigeria. I was like, no, this is stuff here. Yeah, one it? big troll. I'm telling you, the troll, <laughs> man. It's a troll, man. It's a troll. 90s is a good shot, though. It's a good oh, shot. It's a good shot. Man. All right, they need to refurbish guys. that whole station. <laughs> yeah, thank you for coming on, guys. Definitely. Thank you. Yeah, for having come us. again. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Um,